Hey you guys, UA here. So today I will be planting some bulbs for forcing. And forcing bulbs is one of my most favorite fall activity because it is very easy and it's incredibly satisfying. For example, if I plant some hyacinths uh, right now, I will already have them blooming in my house in January, which is amazing. Nothing is really happening in January garden-wise. The holidays are over. The garden season is not yet starting. So having flowers is just incredible at that time of the year. Before I start planting, I just wanted to explain what is forcing bulbs. So forcing bulbs is basically tricking your bulbs into blooming earlier than if they were planted outside by creating an artificial chill period. Now, every bulb has a different chill period. I will post those times in the description down below so you can follow them. Don't forget to put those dates in the calendar. So let's say you're planting some bulbs today, put that date in the calendar and then count the months or the weeks from that date. And that is the time when you have to take those bulbs out for bloom. Now planting bulbs for forcing is a very easy process. All you need are some bulbs. In this case, I have some hyacinths. And when you pick bulbs for forcing, make sure that you select the biggest ones that you can find. Fortunately, our local garden center has uh, bulbs for sale in bulk, so I can select the biggest ones out of the box. Another thing that you will need are some pots. Um, I have some clay ones. I have this beautiful metal uh, container here. And you will need some potting mix. Make sure that your pot has a drainage hole because most of the bulbs do not like to sit in soggy soil. And um, then all you have to do is fill the pot with some potting mix and plant your bulbs. Now, unlike when we plant the bulbs in the ground, these are surface planted and I like for the top of the bulb to be leveled with the edge of the pot. And after that, I just add a little bit more soil on top. That's so I can see the tops of the bulb. You can use decorative material like moss or some sort of gravel that makes it very pretty, but you're pretty much done. So this soil is pretty dry, so I'm uh, going to water it just a little bit. Now, if you're not sure how you're going to display your bulbs, um, you can plant them in plastic pots for now, and then you can replant them in whatever the container that you're going to display them in. Uh, some people are a little bit nervous about replanting forced bulbs, but they do really, really well. So don't worry about it. Actually, that's what I'm going to do um, for some of these plastic pots. I'm going to plant some tulips in these. And when they sprout, I will replant them in a more decorative pot. As you can see, I plant them very thickly because I want that beautiful lush display. In this beautiful metal container, I will plant a tulip called a blue diamond. It is absolutely stunning. And the bulbs that I found are massive. This is the tulip bulb that you want for forcing. As you can see, planting bulbs for forcing is a very easy process. However, the next step is a little tricky. So what we have to do is find a cool spot for these bulbs to chill. And the temperature has to be uh, around 32 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. The ideal spot for that is a refrigerator. And I understand not all of us have a huge uh, industrial size refrigerators, but even if you put one pot or maybe two pots in a crisper drawer for you to force, that is great. Another option is to dig holes in your garden beds and place uh, pots with your bulbs in those holes. 
This way the bulbs are insulated and uh, because there's enough soil around the pots, there's not a lot of fluctuation of temperature. And that's why the fridge is so great because there is an even temperature for that. The other thing that you can do is place your pots in a protected area of your garden. But what I like to do um, is insulate them with some sort of material like uh, leaves or straw, again, to protect them from that fluctuation in temperature. And there's another option that I discovered that works really well for me, is finding a spot in your house that has that temperature of 32 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And in my case, uh, we have these old stairs in the basement that are unheated and they have a cool air coming from outside. And I have been uh, forcing my bulbs in that spot. I can fit a lot of pots in there. Uh, it's been very successful. Another thing that I tried a couple of years ago and worked really well is placing containers like this in our unheated garage. Now the temperature there does fall below freezing, um, just a little below freezing, and it works really well. I uh, understand that we cannot fit this container, for example, in the fridge or somewhere else in the house, but the garage seems to have a space that can accommodate uh, something like this. After the chill period is over for the specific bulb that you're trying to force, you will most likely start to see little sprouts uh, on your bulbs and it's time to take them out of the cool storage. After you take them out, you can just place them in a bright location in your house and in about a few weeks, you will start seeing flowers. Now, which bulbs can you force? I'll tell you the ones that I had luck with and the ones that I didn't have good luck with. So my favorite ones are hyacinths. They are so easy. They have pretty short chill period. They're beautiful. They are fragrant. However, you have to be careful. Sometimes um, they can be a little bit overwhelming. I forced about 50 hyacinths one year and I had to put a lot of them out of the house. It was just a little too much for me. Another bulb that is super easy to force are paper whites. They actually don't even need to be forced because they don't need a chill period. They come from a very mild Mediterranean climate. So when you buy those bulbs, you can plant them and in a couple of weeks you will have flowers. Now other types of bulbs I had really good luck with are double tulips. Uh, like these, uh, for example, when they bloom in the middle of the winter, it looks like a garden in my room. Um, now, when you pick um, tulip varieties to force, make sure that you pick the earlier blooming ones and shorter blooming ones. So, for example, Darwin's are not a good option because they get really tall and when forced, they can get uh, really floppy. Other bulbs that I have experienced forcing are crocuses. Crocuses are incredibly adorable in the middle of the winter in small pots. Now, the ones that I did not have good luck with are muscari. Muscari are also really, really pretty spring blooming bulb, but they produce a ton of foliage before they bloom. So what I ended up doing is cutting that foliage a number of times and it was just not very pretty. Um, another bulb that I have difficulty uh, forcing are regular daffodils. So regular daffodils actually need a longer chill period. And for me, it was just not worth it. By the time I was forcing regular daffodils, I already had them outside in my garden. This is it as to how to force spring blooming bulbs into blooming in the winter in your house. And I really hope that you give this a try because it is such a satisfying um, thing to do and it's so pretty in the middle of the winter. Anyway, thank you so much you guys for watching today's video. I hope you learned something new and I will see you in the next one. Bye. You plant the pots with, where's my script baby? Garden. Another option, do you have something to say? Uh, I know it's so pretty. Would you like to tell us how to force bulbs?